Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. In today's video, I show you how to use embossing powders in four different ways. I'll be using the three embossing powders that I designed for WOW back in January. The trio is called Ancient Jewels. They have different sized particles of gold embossing powder combined with different colors and they look so yummy and luxurious already in the pots that I couldn't give them a different name. They are jewels to my eyes. The first one is Egyptian turquoise and it reminds me of the jewels that the pharaohs and the royals in Egypt used to wear back in the ancient times. The three powders will give you the same vintage and worn out look of gold and the background color. Now let me show you Decadent Ruby, a dark red combined with gold. I love how these emboss, they are perfect for mixed media projects so don't expect a super fine powder here because I've mixed different grain sizes to get that non-uniform and unexpected finish. And the final one is Royal Emerald, a beautiful green again combined with gold. These powders have a life of their own and unless you shake them and mix them very very well, you will see that sometimes more gold is coming up and sometimes more color is coming up. And I think that adds more beauty to using these powders since the unexpected will happen. I like them so much unmelted and as they are in the pot, especially Egyptian turquoise, that I created some jewelry pieces so I can wear them raw and I had lots of fun of experimenting with them. I launched these powders at the same time as my paper art release in January 2021, which had these three stamp sets. I'll add the video I prepared for that release where I used them all to create a vintage bullet journal. I paired the stamp sets with these stamp Stencils, which have pretty versatile patterns and very useful sentiments and words. But for today's video, I'll just use the first stamp set, ESC21, with the vintage labels and the coordinating stencil PS221 with the word journal. Okay, let's get started. Here you can see the sample that I created before actually attempted to creating any of the three cards. I'm going to prepare the three labels first, and for that, I'm just using the WOW ink for embossing and I'm going to stamp it three times and I'll do one powder at a time. So I start with this one, which is Egyptian turquoise. And I'm going to shake it a little bit and then I'm going to pour them in there. And then I'm just going to put back the powder into the pot. I really, really like the powder, how it looks. And now I'm going to use the WOW embossing tool. You can use any tool that you have. This one has two speeds, a super fast and a slow one. So you can basically use it for different purposes. Like you can also use it as a, a heat tool just to dry your projects. Or if you are in a very, very hurry, then you can really use the high speed and make things that melt uh, very, very quick. Now I'm stamping again with the same ink. So I'm re-inking. And then I'm going to use the next powder which is the Royal Emerald, the green. And same thing, I applied it on top, then I put a um, piece of paper underneath so I can put all the powder back into the jar. And then once it's done, I'm going to melt it again with the embossing powder that will make the plastic particles to basically melt and create um, yeah, the stamped image in that color. And I'm going to do the third one with the third color, which is a uh, ruby, decadent ruby, sorry, which is the red one, again with some gold. And the good part about having the different particles mixed there is that the un well, the the pattern that you get basically from the powder is not uniform. It's very different, and sometimes you will see chunks of gold coming there, which will make well the pattern more interesting, I think. I'm melting it also from behind and from the top. You can do it any other way as you like. So now I'm going to use the World Journal and I'm going to apply Grunge Paste. This is a texture paste from Paper Artsy. If you have other texture paste, you can use it too. But the only thing that you need to ensure is that you wait until it's actually completely dry um, until um, before you actually melt the powder okay this one dries super fast so i'm going to just work on two of the labels and i'm going to put the journal with the grunge paste on there and then i'm putting the powder on top and i'm letting it dry okay i'm not i'm not embossing it straight away i want to make sure that the that the um, texture paste is is basically dry and it has a stick to the powder before I actually use the heat and the heat tool, the embossing gun. Okay, so 
that's why I'm just doing two here. I could have actually cut the paper in three and do the three at the same time, but you will see me later that I'll do the, uh, the green one later on. So it's just the same thing. I just apply the grunge base there and then the powders on top and they're going to stick. And if you want to make sure that it sticks everywhere, then just do like um, tap underneath the paper a little bit so it kind of moves around. So now I'm going to prepare the background of the first card and I'm using the huge stamp set that it's like a background. So that is to be used as a background, but also if you are into um, bullet journaling, as I, I am uh, sometimes, then basically you uh, this is very helpful because you're going to find that it has the days of the week, the months and everything. So you can stamp them in little pieces and then cut them away. Um, just visit the video that I put before about the bullet journal um, the vintage bullet journal because you will see examples of how, how I use this stamp set basically and I've cut away the different uh, pieces well, well uh, paper art actually cuts them partially for you so you can finish trimming every word over there so you can use them uh, later on independently if you want to just stamp Monday then basically you can do it you just trim it off out of the rubber and then put it back in where it was so you can use that uh, stamp set as a tool basically, so don't be afraid to cut it out <laughs> because the worst part, which is cutting almost all the pieces, is already done for you. You may be seeing that from the back basically. So okay, now I'm preparing the other background, so same thing, um, instead of um, using the uh, Egyptian turquoise, now I'm using the ruby red. So I'll be repeating the same thing over and over, it's just until I get the three backgrounds. So it's just uh, stamping the background stamp set uh, one way and then the opposite way with the um, wow embossing ink and then applying the powder and retrieving the excess powder putting it back into the jar make sure that you cause the jar i didn't do it there i could have caused <laughs> a pretty big mess so be careful with your powders make sure to close the lid so then the powder doesn't escape when you're using the embossing gun around and you know too much air and powders there they are not a good combination unless they stick to the ink right so they could blow away from your jar and you may end up your powders too soon okay final color is done and put them back into the jar and melting it i really love uh, seeing an embossing powder melting and retrieving its actual final um, color especially if it's gold or a metallic embossed in it so i have the three patterns and then you could end up there if you actually liked like a very minimalistic look and a pretty, um, I don't know, clean and simple, but you'll see that I have more color. Okay, now the Grinch paste is dry. So I'm basically melting the powder. Okay, if you don't do it straight away, it's gonna burst because the plastic actually is kind of creating like a, like a lid or yeah, cover for your paste, right? So if it's not dry, then the water will try to come out. And because it will try to come out through the plastic, it will basically burst the plastic, okay? So you really need to wait until it's dry to actually um, emboss it. And now I'm doing the final part. And you will see that it comes very thin, and this because, uh, well, my stencil was dry and it had um, grunge paste, and I didn't take the effort of actually cleaning it, okay? If you want three perfect labels with the journal phrase exactly, on the same size or any other stencil that you choose, make sure that in between applications of a texture paste, you clean your stencil, okay? So same thing here. I'm going to just apply the embossing powder over there and I let it dry. And once it's dry, then I'm gonna melt it. But for the time being, I'm just, just chopping there and leaving it aside for it to naturally dry. And grunge paste dries super quickly. So in 10 minutes, I would be good to go. I'm just trimming that down because then I can work with the, the other label. So I'm going to trim the papers a little bit because I want them to, well, I wanted to create like a base for them as well. Uh, so I'm just framing them a little bit and I'm just calculating where I want it. So once it's done, then I have a better sized paper and I'm repeating the same size everywhere. And I'm trimming as I like it basically. And that's it. And I'll do the same thing for the three papers. So all of them have the same size and they will fit on, on the background pieces. And now I'm going to just um, use prepare the backgrounds. And that's pretty simple. I'm going to use again embossing powder. 
and for that um, I'll need to it to stick to the paper so I'm just applying directly the ink over there and I'm going to just apply it on the edges you don't need too much so it's not a solid um, background full of all that embossing powder so it's just the four edges that will have that powder that's a trick <laughs> that you can use if you also have just um, gold embossing powder and you want like a background for your card in gold you can use the same technique and yeah just apply embossing powders on the edges if you use gold embossing powder for example and you're not very satisfied with it then i would say apply a second layer and it will be more uniform but these powders the beauty of them is that well they are a bit uneven right and the different particles are different sizes so i mean if you apply another layer on top uh, also because the um, color is actually translucent you are going to end with more gold on top so it will be less reddish in this case and more goldish. So if you like that, actually, you can do that. If you want to turn them a bit more gold rather than red, you can add a second layer and then the next layer, the gold will cover many particles of that red because gold is opaque, whereas the red one is not. Now I'm going to create my own do-it-yourself do brats, okay? And I'm going to just use regular brats, the, well, the ones that are metallic. I'm going to apply a paint on top which is just white um, paint by Paparazzi, fresco paint, I think it's a snowflake. And then I'm selecting some tweezers that you can actually, I mean, if you don't press, they, they basically remain closed. So I'm just going to apply the ink on top and then put it into the jar. So then it stays there and then I'm melting it and then suddenly it completely uh, melts. You need to be very careful because then the brush will be very hot. So you just let them aside and look how beautiful they turn out. I love them. Really, really love them. And they are all different. So they are pretty cool. And I'm going to decorate all the different corners with that. So now you've seen all the techniques that we use. Um, I'm going to recap. So basically, I just um, stamped and embossed. And then I just uh, created a background. And then I also applied with crunch paste and I created my own brats. So those are the four techniques that we're using. And now I'm going to finish the cards. And the way that I'm going to do that is with infusions, as you saw me there. I just put some powder on my surface, on the table. I put some water on it to dissolve it. And then I'm just applying a background. And I'm dissolving it a little bit more. So then it's a bit um, less vibrant, the color. So by adding more water and I'm painting the journal. So more infusions and now I'm going to create some splashes in a darker color. This to add some texture. You'll see me later repeating the same thing with the three different backgrounds and three different colors. So don't worry, I'll explain again the same steps over and over so you, you'll get it very well. And now I'm going to use this straight Distress Ink. I'm using the um, Vintage Photo. In this case, I'm using the Oxide, but you could also use um, Oh no, <laughs> I was using the regular one and you can also use the oxide so you can see that I'm combining them. You can do whatever you want basically to add just a little extra vintage look on the on the whole thing. And especially I'm also applying on the edges because I don't want to see white at all. So on that label then I will not see any white coming up and the same thing on the card. I, I think that they look more finished if you don't see white at all. So now I'm going to put those brats back in place. I'm just using a piece of foam and then a little um, needle and I'm punching through holes so then I can pass the brat through. And because I'm putting it like in the corner and the legs of the brats are very long, I will need to trim them down. If uh, you can either trim them or fold them back into the card I prefer to trim them and for that I'll be using the team hole scissors which cut everything and don't, they, they don't get damaged. I love them. So I'm just opening the legs of the brats on the other side of the postcard as you can see and then anything that kind of uh, goes beyond the edge I'm gonna trim it down and then that will be uh, most of the card done basically. So you can see those legs standing out and then I'm using those scissors to cut them. Don't use your regular scissors, I mean you will destroy the edge, but I mean the, uh, what is it, the sharp part cuts? <laughs> but with these ones it's awesome, I mean I love them. I use them for everything at home. <laughs> Whenever I need to open a parcel or whatever, I go to my team's whole scissors. 
they cut very very well so I'm just going to add some piece of foam on the back of the label so then it stands out and well, it's a bit more yeah, astounding basically and it creates like a shadow and I prefer it like that rather than flat and I'm going to do the same thing on the card so I'm going to basically make sure that it's fully covered and uh, normally I would just put on the edges but because these were sent, well I sent them to Marion from WOW because um, she was uh, announcing these products in Hochanda well now I think it's the Craft TV show or something channel so uh, in the UK there is a show that it showed cast a lot of um, products from yeah from different companies so uh, I sent them to her so she could have them on the show and it could be seen to people and shown there they were very popular on that show uh, the powders actually they were um, it was so fun because uh, she was having two shows on that same day and then on the second part of the show uh, late uh, in the afternoon they were already sold out I was like oh my gosh I'm so happy people really like them because I was like you know in, in that this channel I think that people who actually watch them um, they may not be that into mixed media and they may look more neat and simple stuff and I was a bit scared that it may not have um, well people may not like them but actually they did so I was so glad that that was the case so I was over the moon with the release and and the good acceptance that it had so now I'm just uh, preparing this other uh, background this time in Egyptian turquoise and I really love it how it looks and remember these are translucent okay as I said before so if imagine that you only have a Egyptian turquoise for example and your background is a bit um, yellow then if you add a a blue on top that it's actually translucent you're gonna get a light green so you can combine them as as you want with your background and you will not get um well that exactly same color on the background so basically yeah you can play with them a lot now i'm using infusions uh, to paint my background here i used a blue it's a slate blue and then because um well if you're in new if you're new to my channel you may not know about infusions but um they are a product that I use all the time okay and I'll explain once more what these are so basically these are powders which have some dye powders and they also have walnut crystals okay and they dissolve at different speeds they both of them um, dissolve with water so any water product that you have you can use them to dissolve them and here I'm just using a very quick and easy water coloring technique right so um, the, the blue is that kind of uh, vintage vibe blue because it has a lot of walnut, right? So um, I, I really love this product and um, this, this color in particular is one of my favorites. So I'm just adding some splashes and I'm dipping from the card into the surface of my craft sheet to just pick some more color and add more interest. And I really love, from the three cards, I think this one is my favorite. I, I love it. And I love also always the combination of blue and brown and gold. So this was my gem. <laughs> I love it very very much so I'm going to repeat the same thing as I did before adding some more um, distress oxide and distress regular inks to just add that touch that vintage touch everywhere and uh, to cover all the white um, edges from the different from the two pieces and then I'm go just going to mount everything together even I'm adding a little bit of of that ink on top and then rubbing that off and then yeah I'll mount everything together using the brats as well so the same thing like a piece of foam to make my holes using a needle and then I'll use the scissors to cut the excess once the uh, legs of the brats are open so I had lots of fun to uh, creating these cards and it's nice that basically uh, you just combine different embossing powders and different infusions and you get totally different cards I mean okay not totally different because obviously the design is kind of the same but you can achieve very different results and you could give them as a birthday card and pick the color that actually uh, the person that will receive it will like it so just change the world journal for happy birthday maybe not using the crunch base but any other means you could do and yeah they may like it so yeah just mounting that the same way i wasn't sure exactly where the top part was i think it's actually the other way around that i will mount it finally but well we'll see i know 
it was that way okay <laughs> and now I'm going to just put again everything covered in foam just because these were going to be sent as I said to um, Marion and I didn't want them to bend in the middle or something so I want like an even surface okay and now I'm just adding a little bit more ink and then I'll move on to the next card it's so shiny I love it so the for the third card now my Grinch paste is totally dry and then I'm going to just melt it and as you can see that journal was very thin in comparison to the other it was because I didn't clean the stencil <laughs> okay just remember to clean your stencils okay so I'm creating again the third background this time in royal emerald and the, I love them and if you like this and you want more colors well you have a sneak peek or maybe just a confession that three more are coming but don't tell anyone okay <laughs> they will be coming I think in November but shh, don't say anything so now I'm melting the third color and this is going to be um, what is it rustica yes so this is like an orange and again I'm applying a layer then I'm spritzing some water that will cause some kind of drops to come and it will be like whitey whitish basically and now I'm adding a darker color there and splashing them there and then more water so this is about creating texture and drops and more and inking up and <laughs> anything you want basically I mean you could just don't do that if you don't like this messy kind of background but I love it I love to add texture somehow so I really really enjoyed creating this one as well and I end up with my fingers oh my gosh <laughs> after using fusion it's like poof so I clean my fingers with a product that um, paper I see uh, was selling uh, for when at the shows and it was fantastic I don't know where you can get it I have it in front of me let me see it it's called Cresto color ultra if I find the link I'll post it there and it's like um what is it uh, it has some sort of sand on it and it's um it smells very peculiar but it breaks the the uh, dye so you basically use it at the very end of your crafty session basically you massage it into your fingers and then you clean them and basically it's like your hands are super neat afterwards and and it removes everything all the stains and it's it's great again it's called Cresto color ultra and if I find it, I'll, I'll put the link it's a pretty expensive stuff but it really cleans up your fingers I mean the other solution obviously is bleach but then well good luck with your skin right I mean don't do it very often really and the other option is just leave it there <laughs> I mean I've gone to work for a long time with the dirty fingers but now that we work from home you know it doesn't matter <laughs> if, if they are a bit dirty because nobody's looking at my my hands anymore okay so that's the third one it's done so I'll show you three cards and then I'll show you uh, the different pictures if you like this uh, sort of video just please subscribe to my youtube channel and click to the ring bell button so you don't miss any more and also if you click on the ring bell I mean on the like button then you will save it uh, also in your favorite videos basically so you can come back again to see if you if you need more inspiration or, or how to use these products again in the future so these are the yummy pictures and I love the detail because I, I would love you to, to actually hold the card and see all those details for yourself. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love it. And it's great to use the embossing powders in so many different ways. I mean, not only um, stamp and emboss, right? So you can create your own brats, which is gorgeous, create your own backgrounds and also apply it with crunch paste or any texture paste and give a even more dimensional look to an embossing powder it's like double embossing right so i really really love this i hope you like them too and i would love to read your comments if and and tell me what what you think about uh, these cards and about these powders if you like them and or not <laughs> and thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one okay uh, hopefully coming very very soon because i'm trying to commit myself to one video per week i don't know for how long i'll be able to do that but i'll try for a while okay thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye